In the shadowy corners of the technological world, one enigma has persistently baffled us. The true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin. Amidst the humdrum of our everyday life, an entity emerged in 2009. Something that would reshape our understanding of money. Bitcoin. Yet, who was behind it? Who sparked this revolution? The answer remains as elusive as the persona of Nakamoto itself. Although Bitcoin only came into existence in the late 2000s, its origins can be traced back several decades, all the way to 1982. This is when a computer scientist named David Chaum first introduced the idea of eCash. He was concerned about privacy in the digital world and shared his thoughts in a paper titled Blind Signatures for Untraceable Payments. In this paper, he talked about a new way of using secret codes for payments that couldn't be easily traced. David was really excited about this concept. In 1990, he even tried to turn it into reality by creating a company called DigiCash. He wanted to make a safe kind of money that people could use online. He had a great reputation and got a lot of smart people and money to help him. However, not many people ended up using this new type of money. By the late 1990s, the company had financial problems and had to shut down. Even though DigiCash didn't succeed, it inspired others. In 1998, two new ideas for digital money emerged. One was from a computer engineer named Wei Dai, who wrote about something called B-Money. Another idea came from a computer scientist named Nick Sabo, who talked about BitGold. Both of these ideas aimed to create a form of money for the internet that didn't rely on banks or companies. Unfortunately, neither of these ideas became real money, and for more than 20 years, people tried and failed to make a digital currency that worked. But then, in 2008, something significant happened. Bitcoin entered the scene. In August of that year, a person named Satoshi Nakamoto started communicating with Wei Dai, the creator of B-Money, starting a crucial moment in the story of Bitcoin. Bitcoin has achieved unprecedented success, becoming the dominant worldwide payment system. With a quantity of 20 million coins, its price is expected to match the entirety of the world's wealth, which is believed to be between $100 trillion and $300 trillion. This corresponds to a staggering $10 million per coin valuation. Back then, Bitcoin had a long way to being accepted as a payment system. May 2010 sees a turning point that alters the course of Bitcoin. A Florida programmer named Lazarus Hanyaks conducts a groundbreaking transaction in an incident that would eventually go down in history. He trades 10,000 Bitcoins, which are only worth a tiny fraction of a penny each, for $2.25 Papa John's pizzas. Even though it was a small-scale exchange, this transaction represents the first time Bitcoin was used in a legitimate transaction. During this time, using Bitcoin to transact requires extensive internet haggling and bartering. However, Han Yakis's pizza purchase strikes a chord with the early adopter group, highlighting the potential for Bitcoin's wider applications. The value of Bitcoin gradually surpasses the cent mark over the following months, strengthening its advancement. Surprisingly, the 10,000 Bitcoins used to purchase those pizzas now have an incredible current value of close to $500 million, highlighting the remarkable growth trajectory that Bitcoin has started on. Han Yaki's gains popularity and boasts ironically that he once ate the most expensive lunch in history. This historic pizza transaction has been entwined with Bitcoin's history, giving rise to the cherished Bitcoin Pizza Day on May 22nd. In April 2011, Satoshi Nakamoto sent his final email to Gavin Andresen, a prominent figure in the Bitcoin community. This email expressed Satoshi's desire to move away from the spotlight and not be perceived as a mysterious figure. It was a notable departure from his previous active engagement with the community. Satoshi didn't leave empty-handed, though. He took one million Bitcoin with him, which are currently worth about $60 billion. After the email to Gavin Andresen, Satoshi's communication ceased entirely. No further messages or public statements from Satoshi have been confirmed since then. 
His absence has persisted for over a decade, contributing to the mystique and speculation surrounding his identity. People have worked tirelessly to identify Satoshi Nakamoto's identity to this day, but in an age when it is difficult to remain anonymous, he has remained a ghost. It's also worth noting that about 1 million bitcoins were mined in Bitcoin's first year and were never used. Today, the coins are worth approximately $50 billion, and many assume that Nakamoto controls the coins. This might place him among the world's top 30 richest people. So, with this much money at stake, it remains to be seen if Nakamoto will remain a ghost forever, or will one day come out of hiding.